Southeast Asian artists are not as known, not, we're not a household brand name that is known. Mm -hmm. I think it was quite a privilege to, for me at least, to be in the Philippines and to not have to grapple so much with identity in terms of who we are mm -hmm. as Filipinos. My identity as an Asian American and as a Southeast Asian, I feel, um, comes out in my work. Uh, it, it's something that, out of necessity, you have to acknowledge. That began also my interest in looking in the archives. So it was impossible to look through the American archives and not finding myself there, and looking through Vietnamese archives and not finding myself there either. There's no sense of a fixed self or fixed idea of who we are. I am not a Vietnamese American. I'm not a Southeast Asian American. Um, I am a woman and I live between a lot of words. I take motifs from Thai culture, uh, paintings in temples, very iconic images from Thai art and integrate it with the abstract expressionist style of painting. I primarily work um, in poetry. I like to think more of myself as someone who makes things, as opposed to someone who's commenting on a particular issue. I take photographs in order to be present wherever I'm at, mm -hmm. with either the land, myself, mm -hmm. or with other people. Mm -hmm. I do drawings and sculpture, and um, I like to think of them as works that aspire to be unstable. I'm really interested in how the camera has been used as a truth-telling tool. I found that writing is the best way actually to learn a new language. Um, it helps me express myself in a way that is not bounded by rules of grammar. The power is in our networking, sharing information, sharing connections. The Southeast Asian community itself is so complex. We are acknowledging that complexity, that there isn't just one story to be told, that there really isn't a kind of understanding of like a pure Vietnamese-ness. As a diasporic writer and artist, um, you know, part of me is still continuously still going to be negotiating those two things. How is abstraction a concern of women? or Asia, how is that an Asian American concern? And you should kind of look them in the eye and say, well, how is it not? So I think the only way that we could actually talk about the diaspora, the first thing that we need to do is to stop thinking in terms of labels. 